question is from Danny Girl. I am confused about the whole bulk and cut thing. Can I cut calories and still gain muscle? Okay, so uh, so here's the thing with, with, with calories. Think, think about it this way. Calories are, okay, so if I'm trying to build a house, mm-hmm. um, I first have to- You need the material. Yeah, the I, materials. Yeah, I have to- <laughs> The I, wood, the concrete, you know, all the stuff. That's it. So I have to have, I have to first off have the plans or order the house to be built. There's the signal. We got to build this house. I'm going to need the workers. They're the ones that are going to be piecing the house together. So that's the capability uh, to build the house. But then I need the building blocks. If I have the workers and the order, but I have no c- cement, I have no bricks, I have no wood, I have no nothing, um, the house isn't going to get built. Those so your calories. So when you're building your body, you need the signal, which is the resistance training or the workout. That sends the signal. That's like the order to start building. Then you need the workers. That's your body's ability to build muscle. Uh, and that comes from uh, you know, the appro- was the signal appropriate? Did I overdo it? Did I underdo it? Am I getting good sleep? All that stuff. But then I need the building blocks. And that's the calories. That's the proteins and the carbohydrates and the fats, which all play a role in building your body. So if you're trying to build muscle, you probably are going to need more calories than you need to just stay the same. And that's what bulking is. You're, just con- you're, you're, you're giving your body more building blocks Mm-hmm. to build muscle, and more means above what it takes for your body to stay the same. Now, is it possible to eat less calories and still build muscle? It, it is, but it's also very unlikely. But it is possible, and it's through what's called calorie repartitioning. So what that basically means is if my calories are low, my body's going to burn or take some building blocks from my body fat – and then use that for building muscle, or help that. That's going to help the process. And we of see this muscle. most often if we do see it in newbies. Yeah, yeah. Somebody who's never touched so weights. It's like the or, Goldilocks window, right? You've never touched weights, or even if you're somebody who's trained before, but you haven't trained for the last six months to a year, and you've been off, and then you get back in the gym. We tend to see this during this time period, but then quickly your body adapts, and then you don't see those. And you need it's un, it's unfortunate that we we use terms like. Bulk and cut. Because bulk sounds so yeah, unattractive. It does. Or, bulk yeah. sounds so unattractive for a client who comes to me and says, "Adam, I want to reduce body fat and build some muscle, but I care. I don't want to bulk up, right? Because yeah. that's normally the follow up statement to, yeah, I want to be tight and firm and I want to build muscle, Adam, um, but I don't want to bulk up. Like how many cl- female clients have told you that before sitting in oh, front yeah. of you, and then you have to explain what building muscle. I blame the marketing. I mean, especially for a lot of these cardiovascular machines that they're out there saying like, you're going to lose weight and build muscle. And you're just like, wait a minute. Like, what are you talking about? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. like we have to decipher what goal it is you're specifically trying to accomplish first. And then, you know, like proceed to the, to the next, but, right. You know, you're not going to have them both simultaneously. Like they're, they're two opposing, uh, you know, animals there that we're trying to take. Yeah. Now cutting is the opposite. Cutting is consuming less calories than your body's burning. So you think to yourself, well, how can my body burn more calories than I'm eating? Where is it getting the, the energy to sustain itself if I'm not consuming enough to sustain itself? Well, your body gets it from its stored energy, which is your body fat. So your body will not go into its stores of body fat unless you're consuming less calories, uh, unless your body thinks it needs to, unless you're consuming less calories then you're burning. If you're not doing that, if I'm consuming as many calories as I'm burning or more, it'll just use the calories. Yeah, my body has no has no reason to go in. It's like it's like this. Look, if you're, would you tap into your savings account if you're making way, you're making enough money to to sustain yourself? There's no need to tap into my bank account. I got cash in my wallet all the time. There's absolutely no need. Well, that's what your body's doing. So, cutting is the process of eating less calories than your body's burning. Bulking is the process of eating more calories than your body's burning. Now we've gone into the details because you could do them both wrong. You could go, you could bulk with too many calories or cut too many calories. And there's lots of strategies on how to maximize the benefits and minimize the, you know, the detriments of, of doing either one. But, uh, you know, what we're talking about now is kind of giving you that, that general overall idea uh, of what they mean. So the second part was, can I cut calories and still gain muscle? Yes, it's ha- it can happen. Very, very difficult and very unlikely, though. So I wouldn't aim for that.